Once again, I'm up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I'm in the middle of a test drive video, which I want you to check out. I'm gonna uh, add that to the end of this video so you can see this thing running and driving down the road. But I'm gonna stop off over here. I'm gonna walk around, point out any kind of flaws that I could find. That way you know exactly what kind of car you're coming to get. This car has quite a few little paint flaws. As you can see, they tried to touch up. But we'll walk around. I'll kind of show you all of them that I see. This is a 1966 model with a 289. Good little running driving car. Been out here busting the block with it. Looks like somebody already put a new front bumper on it, which is a very common upgrade. A lot of people do that first. It really does make it look a whole lot better. There's not a whole lot of chips like I figured there would be at the very bottom. There's some bug marks. This looks like it's been replaced too. The grill's in good shape. I don't think that's been replaced, but it's in really good shape. I did a lot of little touch-ups here with a, it's like an off color. <laughs> I think I'd have got a little better color on it. Uh, there's a little light scratch in the paint there. If we had a guy that could buff really good, we could get that kind of stuff out. The hood's in really good condition. Looks like a lot of this trim has been taken care of or at least replaced in the last 10 years. It's still in great condition as well. Usually this has got a lot of rust on it from where the top sits down and it's clean. Little stripe kit on it, looks pretty good. There's a chip in it though. A little scratch here. They must have drove through a tree line or a bush line, have all them light little scratches. That'll wax out too. I think there's a small little dent right here. That's sap. Some sap. The top's in fair condition. I'll, re I'll bring it back up here in a second. Interior in this thing looks great. Just a few more touch up marks. A couple little scratches. Some scuffs. A lot of these little scuffs will come out though. Back bumper looks like it's in good condition. It's definitely been replaced in the last five or six years. Tail lights look great. Exhaust tip there's twisted. Let's see if this thing's hot. I've been driving it around. It's pretty warm, but that's a bolt on. It's a definite bolt on probably dumped off under the car way up there and somebody stuck him tips on there they do look better though than the just painted black man I want to get that straight it's bugging me to go back and tighten that up get the cool gas cap it's got a crack in it though All this is pitting. The definite crack back here. You can see where that's been worked.
see if the door's hanging or it's not shut all the way. And the hinges on this door need to be replaced. The door's actually hanging a little bit because of it. And they put that uh, bump strip guard on there, which I might just go ahead and take that off. Well, you don't want to take it off because you can see where all the chips are. Let me see if that's on the other side too. I don't remember seeing that over here. Yeah, it's there. Must have had a lot of little chips popping up there. I don't know what that horrible noise is out here. I'm gonna need them to stop. Oh, look, they stopped. There's still some more scuffs over here. That will come off. This car really needs a, a buff, but I guess with all the little touch-ups, it probably should just get a better paint job. It's not terrible, especially if you're standing about right here, just walking around the car, checking it out. It looks really good. It's when you get really, really close with this camera, everything pops up. I'm gonna look at the bottom of these panels here. In good shape. It's got a nice set of tires on it too. It's like the mirrors have been replaced. Just a lot of them little touch up marks. Somebody went a little crazy with it. The car may look better without all that touch up. Go ahead and pop the hood here. Like I said, this is just a 289. Got the Cobra valve covers. power steering it's got these little lights I've seen little Cobras you could plug them up somebody was trying to make the engine bay look good for a little local car show I'm sure they stuck these in there so at night your little Cobra eyes glow blue I got them on both sides. I guess you could turn them around. Like shine them on the motor maybe. Give them a little blue effect. That was already on there, so. Under the hood's in good condition as well. I'm not seeing a big burn mark where they've been running with no filter. Sometimes you see that. We'll grab the keys and we'll head to the trunk. Give me the circle one. It was suction cut shut, so these are fairly new. They're not exactly stuck on there exactly right, but a little glue, weather strip glue would help. It's pretty good up under here if I can keep it light. Spare tire, uh, the boot for the top, that goes over the back. If you put that. Looks pretty good. Looks decent back here. All right, 
let's check this interior out and start her up. The door actually opens and closes pretty smooth. But the reason I, I seen that the hinge is hanging like that is because the door is kind of stuck out. Uh, carpet's been in here a little while. It's not in bad condition, but it could be replaced and it would look a lot better. Or dyed would help a lot too. The door panel's loaded up with speakers. Infinity speakers. Looks like the top of it, a little bit of wear. Showing some signs of use through the years. That definitely needs to be tucked back in. A little detail would go a long way there. Seals don't look bad. Well, hopefully it'll lighten up down here. This under this door looks great. I'm trying to get it to lighten up so you can see it. I was watching the videos the other night and I couldn't get that. I'm gonna have to bring a flashlight or something next time. Tops of these seats are faded from the sun. All right. Speedometer does come up. We don't have an RPM gauge. Um, we'll say that gauge probably don't work. I can't get any of these other gauges to come up, the oil pressure gauge or the gas gauge. We're gonna stop at the gas station up there and see if I can do that. flashers down here those look good look like they've been replaced this car's got a good sound to it Engine's nice and quiet. I don't hear any exhaust leaks, nothing like that. Plenty of response. Good power, power steering. The steering on this thing was nice. It almost felt like they replaced a lot of stuff on it, but it don't look like it's been replaced. All right, guys, this is going to conclude my walk around video. I'm going to get back to the test drive video that I was in the middle of and finish it up. And I wanted to remind y'all we're going to be closed Saturday. I'm getting married, so the whole family's coming out. I appreciate y'all watching. You want a little more info on this car? You can give us a call, 615-822-4444. Like I said, we're open today. This is Friday, but we're going to be closed Saturday, which is tomorrow. You can check our website out. I got 100 detailed pictures of this car and every car on the lot at maplemotors.com. You can see our full inventory. I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and check out the test drive video. Let's keep on going.